So welcome back to another episode, my friends. I'm bringing you a bonus episode every Friday for the month of August and September. These are on location interviews that I did while I was at the National Health Association Conference in June. And so I'm introducing you every Friday to a new guest, a new individual um, that I got to interview uh, at the NHA conference. So I hope that you enjoy these conversations. They're very short. I filmed them on location. I didn't use a mic. I was just inspired to see why people went to the conference and what they were getting out of it. And I hope that you enjoy. This is the Healthy Lifestyle Solutions Podcast, and I'm your host, Maya Acosta. If you're willing to go with me, together we can discover how simple lifestyle choices can help improve our quality of life and increase our longevity in a good way. Let's get started. We have Peter Goldstein. Welcome, Peter. Tell us why you're here. Well, Maya, thank you. I'm so honored to to be here and to to speak with you and 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 uh, tell your community about myself and my work. Uh, I'm Peter Goldstein, founder and chief synergy officer for We Did That Health, where our mission is to empower grassroots ambassadors to be even more effective inspiring hope and curiosity with our friends and loved ones. And what drove me to that, of course, is the frustration we all experience when we know how we're benefiting and our friends and loved ones, uh, they, they just don't want to hear about it. They're, they're close-minded to it. So our mission is to find better ways to communicate that, to, to inspire them, to get them curious so that when somebody, we, we have somebody in our life who who may be diabetic and they they don't know that that's so easy to reverse and there's so much hope for for better health or whatever the, the case is um, we want to we want to have the ways that we can get through to them and and not necessarily for sure not to tell them what to do with their lives but to get them to open their minds get them to to get curious get them to say well you know what maybe there is a solution maybe maybe some of these chronic diseases are reversible. They can ease up. I don't have to look forward to, to suffering more and more for the rest of my life. And then of course our work is, goes beyond health because this also happens to be the solution for animal justice, for animal compassion. It's just, um, I started out myself from the health perspective and in the past couple of years, I've, I've learned all the t the truths about the animal suffering and, and how terrible uh, egg, uh, farm farm is um, factory farming is uh, for for animals and and of course the climate solution. So the solution to our climate changes is about being plant based and. Um, and certainly we're destroying the planet. So things like we have actually cut down from what I understand half the trees on the planet. And that's why we have problems with carbon dioxide and we cut down all those trees so we can grow animals, so we can, we can be eating animals. So not eating an animals anymore is the solution. And, and that's the solution for, for health. It's the solution for animal compassion. It's the solution for climate change and the solution for world hunger. It takes something like 10 pounds of grains to, to get a pound of meat. So we're feeding, feeding the grains to cows when there's people starving all over the world. So that's who I am, that's my work, and uh, please look for us at wedidit.health and join our community. We have a Thrive and Inspire community where it's our mission to support ourselves, to thrive physically and emotionally, and then to inspire our friends and loved ones so nobody else has to suffer anymore. And you cover all areas. Absolutely, so that's that's our mission, is to cover all the different aspects. And probably, if I may say, our unique contribution to this, this whole uh, realm of, of being plant-based. We're not doctors, we're, we're not necessarily leaders in, in the vegan movement, but what we're bringing to the equation is uh, is interpersonal communications and relationships. So we, we need to get better at listening, better at learning how to how to address somebody so we're not pushing them away, so they're not pushing us away. 
uh, ways to have better relationships so so we're welcome at, at yeah. Thanksgiving <laughs> dinners and things like that. So. Yeah, so Peter, we're really excited about all that you're creating. Thank you so much for being here. You have a booth at the conference. Is that just to let people know about we did it or other things that you're doing? Well, it's it's about the things we're doing with we did it. And, uh, and our primary way to get involved with us is we're inviting people who are plan-based to answer the simple one-question survey. So we have a, a one-question survey that asks the question, so how has your health improved since you changed to be plan-based? Because our vision is to get a million people on the scoreboard so we can put the scoreboard up on, on a billboard and, on Times Square and show the world the power of, of plan-based living. That's right. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to share with my listeners. <laughs> thank you so much, Maya. I'm honored. You've been listening to the Healthy Lifestyle Solutions podcast with your host, Maya Acosta. If you've enjoyed this content, please share with one friend who can benefit. You can also leave us a five-star review at ratethispodcast.com forward slash HLS. This helps us to spread our message. As always, thank you for being a listener.